time. Hello, welcome to Monday. Hello. It's raining in the background here. Hello, Becca. Uh, Becca, I got your little gift today in the mail. Thank you, my darling. Um, that was beautiful. This little tiny, I haven't just show you a little selenite lamp. Uh, Beck Meyer, one of my beautiful clients who is on here watching tonight, just sent me that. Um, Beck, I love it. And I've got it plugged in and I love all the beautiful colours. I love it. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everyone who is just uh, jumping online. Hello, Melissa. Thank you. Uh, Ten year old, yay! Melissa, I've got you on my list. Melissa Robinson, I am coming to your beautiful 10 year old daughter. Uh, so going to do some of our kids cards tonight, which is uh, really fun. Uh, Ten year old little girl. Um, so I've got my kids cards here. Hello, Kim Louise, extreme depression. Wow, Kim, uh, you're on my list. I can feel that. That is, uh, that is something. Uh, friend suffering from depression. Now let's do some cards around you for that, Kim Louise. Um, hello, Michelle Scott. Hello. Um, I'm just looking over at my page at the moment. So I cross post to Michelle R. Price, the light worker. Um, and that's where I'm sort of glancing across at the moment. Hello, Kaya. Um, I think we connected last week. Hello, Kimmy. Hello, my darling. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, um, Kimmy. Yeah, I'll um, draw a card for you, my friend. Uh, Kimmy is on my list. Now, I'm determined to get to the mediumship this week. I actually didn't uh, manage to get to it last week. Or on my son to be when we'll be here. Or on my son to be when we'll be here. Um, Teagues, um, just help me out there. Does that mean um, you're expecting a little boy? Is that, um, we haven't connected for a little while. Just let me check. Um, or are you, yeah, are you pregnant at the moment? We're waiting for that one to come through. Because I've just popped you on my list. Um, so yes, I cross post to my page as well, uh, as well as being on spiritual events directory. So I'm doing oracle card readings tonight. If you need any guidance uh, or anything like that, please let me know uh, and be specific. Um, oh, Robin, love that. Uh, Robin is nice and specific around business. Robin, I do do uh, a fair few business readings for people with business owners, business heading in the right direction. Okay, good. Now I'm going to get into the readings, um, but if there is any mediumship you want to connect to loved ones, let, let me know. Uh, I am going to get into that uh, this week. I didn't manage to get to the mediumship last week and I've uh, got a smaller notepad this week. So I'm hoping that uh, I can manage to get through everybody um, with a small, smaller notepad. So fingers crossed. Now, so far I've got Melissa Robertson, I've got Kim Louise, Kimmy Vogel, Teague Jady, and Robin Bretchen. Um, so I've got all of you on my little list here. So I will be definitely coming to all of yourselves. Uh, and then if there's anyone else jumping in, hello, Janine, um, please let me know. Um, Olivia, wow, that's a very, uh, very long name. Um, Linnell, I have seen your message and I am going to do some mediumship for you. Um, Linnell uh, Olmos, uh, Mother Olivia, Cecina Rodriguez, sorry for my pronunciation. Um, okay, so going to do some mediumship there. Uh, and please be specific as Linnell has been. Um, beautiful. Hello, Melissa Jade. Uh, so Nikki, I like you. Uh, I'm not suggesting I don't like everyone else, but I, uh, you stand out to me for some reason. Nikki Dungey, um, card. Nikki, uh, you're on my list. So I'm just scrolling down the bottom, down the bottom, down the bottom. Um, Melissa Jays, you're very persistent. Love that. Um, Melissa, you are on my list. Now I'm going to get into the readings because otherwise I'll be sitting here all night just writing down names and I won't actually get to anyone. Melissa Jays, you're on my list. So if I've called out your name, uh, please stick around because I'd like to get um, some feedback. Uh, Linnell uh, Olmos, you are on my list. Oh, Robin, uh, fatigue. So we've got business, Robin. I've also got fatigue. So I'll see if we can do both of those. Um, Thank you for tuning in, everyone who is coming on board. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll right down the bottom so I can uh, get started. And then uh, what I would love, Janelle McSweeney. Yes, Grandma. Um, Janelle McSweeney. 
Uh, you're on my list for mediumship. So that's the last person I'm going to write down. Then I'm going to close my eyes and get into the readings. Uh, Nana, beautiful. Um, so you're on my list. So if I've mentioned your name, just stick around. Give me some feedback because I'd like to know if I'm on the right track. Uh, it's very important. And I'm just going to come to some readings. Now, I close my eyes. I am clairvoyant. So I will close my eyes. Um, and uh, so I won't be able to see. If you're posting at the moment, I won't be able to see that. But uh, when I open my eyes, feel free to copy and paste um, your... Oh, your comments. Um, Stacey P. Uh, Priest Cawthorn. Stacey, I've just seen you. You're after mediumship, I think, with your sister. So um, I've just popped you on my list as well. She was very specific, which I love. Um, and so that is mediumship as well. So just going to close my eyes. Uh, feel free to uh, repost or re-share your comment because um, I won't be able to see them for a little bit just as I'm connecting to these initial few people. And then I will check back in with you, see who's commenting, see who's posting, and uh, away we go. So, Melissa Robertson, just going to connect to your 10-year-old daughter who's watching tonight. Thank you, Melissa's daughter, for watching. Uh, I really appreciate that. Now, my children's wellbeing cards are those ones. They're by Dr. Maxine Therese. You can see her name down the bottom there. Um, they're available through Rockpool um, and also through fabulous bookstores. Um, so a lot of bookstores actually stock these now, which is wonderful. So you can actually get your own copy of them and they are pretty amazing. I'm sure you'll agree. So um, let's have a look at that. Um, pardon me. All right, so just going to close my eyes for a little bit. Uh, so feel free to reshare your comment if I haven't mentioned you already um, and don't have you on my list. So just going to come to Melissa Robertson um, and your 10-year-old daughter. So just going to connect there and just see what we need to know. So when the cards land out, I do have an intention that I want them to be face up. If they're not face up, then I uh, pop them back in the deck. So just going to come to that now. I'm just going to draw some cards. Uh, and Melissa, some of these, um, I'll word them as uh, clearly as I can, but some of the, these cards you may have to explain um, as well uh, if I'm not clear enough. And I do move um, pretty quick. All right, so Melissa's daughter, little 10-year-old, love that. Um, so number one is I am healthy, and that is I trust my body's wisdom. So that is root chakra. As you can see from the color, they're all broken up into the different chakras, um, and that is stability, some of that as well. Um, obviously, being in root chakra, feeling secure. Um, but that is listening to my gut and my feelings in my body. So if I don't feel quite right, then I uh, tell mummy uh, and let her know. So that is relying on what my body is telling me. Um, and that is, you know, that little motto up the top there is I'm healthy is sometimes a way of actually staying that way. You know, it's about having those positive thoughts um, so that we can be as well as we can, possibly can, feel as well as we possibly can, um, but also speaking up um, if you don't feel so good and letting mummy know. Um, so that's a really important one. In the middle, we've got heart space and that's a bit of balance. So living in harmony and joy with others, that means respecting uh, boundaries. So you can see up the middle there, there's like a, oh, which way do I have to go? There's a line between the two of them. Um, so that is boundaries. You know, everyone has their own personal space and it's really important to respect that. Um, and also within yourself, there's an expectation that people will respect you know, your personal space. And you know what I'm talking about? When someone comes up and they stand a little bit too close and you think, eh, that's a little bit too close to me. Uh, that's your personal space. So that's your little uh, bubble, if you like. Um, and that is, you know, respecting uh, other people's, you know, little bubbles, personal space, and other people respecting mine as well. Uh, and getting along well as a result of that. Um, so that is heart space. That's in your little uh, heart space there. Now we've got another, uh, similar to what I was just talking about before, that's the root chakra again. So a bit of safety, security foundation really important mum um, for your little 10 year old there to feel nice and safe secure supported so you can see there the trees are quite different so I'm healthy is in the present uh, past into present uh, it's got lots of flowers on the little girls looking very happy there's little birds up there in the nest looking uh, very satisfied out of their little eggs and then in that one, they're pretty cold looking aren't they um, and the little boys in the tree looks like that uh, branch is about to snap um, however, despite all of that, the earth supports my growth and that is about feeling nice and secure. So lots of reminders that you're safe, secure. Uh, Michael is a good one. Um, feeling around this Archangel Michael, calling Michael in, um, cause he is our security blanket. So, um, mum might be able to do that with you before you go to bed. Uh, but it's really good to call Michael in cause he has a big sword and he is our protector. Bottom of the deck is I am loved. I am loved and I am loved. 
um, so loves within me and surrounds me so remembering that that's another heart space one you've got two heart space and two in those root chakra the root chakra is right down the bottom it's the first big chakra in our body mummy might be able to explain that a little bit better uh, but I'm loved and uh, love and I'm loved um, so loves within me and surrounds me so remembering that all the time no matter if we're feeling you know a little bit sad a little bit down in the dumps um, we are always loved by our family here and also our family you know even after they die sometimes they still have that beautiful love for us so there you go. I hope that makes sense. Um, give me some feedback if that does or doesn't, Melissa. Um, so, Melissa, that is uh, your beautiful 10-year-old daughter. Uh, Kim Louise, I've got a friend who's feeling a bit depressed. Let me just see. I want to come over here maybe. Uh, goddess guidance. Okay. Um, so, Kim, just going to tune in here and see what we need to know. So, I won't be connecting to your friend. When I'm one-on-one, -on -one, I often do higher self-work and things like that, connecting to people. Um, but in this situation, I don't need to connect to your friend so much. Um, but I'll connect uh, to yourself and just see what we need to know around your friend who's feeling a little bit down in the dumps. So Kim, I'm just going to come into your energy for a second and just have a little feel around in that and see what we need to know. And I will draw you some cards. Now, if you are just watching and you'd like to book a one-on-one, -on -one, um, healing, reading, combination of both, I do both, um, then there's a link in this post and you can click book now and check my availability. Um, so hello to everyone who is just logging on at the moment. Welcome to your Monday evening. Hello, Zoe. Oh, yes, Zoe, 11 year old daughter. Yay. Hello, Zoe. Uh, 11 year old daughter. That's no problem. We can do that. So, they are our kids' cards. So, if you do have kids watching at home, let me know. And I do get to as many people as possible. Thank you, Zoe. Hi, Elsie, my little friend. Um, for a love, forever love, Suzanne Fernandez. Um, is there a for a love, forever love? Gosh, I can't speak. I'm very tongue tied. Suzanne, you're on my list. Um, so I'm also looking at my page over here as well. And there's people watching on spiritual events directory. So a couple of different pages, um, forever love. Um, is that on the cards for Suzanne? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, so yeah, if you are just logging on, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, lots of familiar names popping up. Hello, Sarah. Oh, another love request. Sarah Purvis, I will put you under Suzanne Fernandez. Um, and let's have a look at that um, because you're asking a similar question. But you're asking about soulmate. Um, Sarah, I do want to just qualify that with a soulmate. Um, we can have members of our soul group. And this is just an interesting side note. We can have members of our soul group. It doesn't mean that we have to necessarily marry that person or, or be with them for the rest of our lives. Um, because there's also, you know, twin flame. And twin flame is uh, that sort of complement where we're the feminine, if we're women. Uh, they are the masculine. So they sort of complete the picture um, and complement us. So there's twin flames uh, and soulmates are sometimes a member of our soul group. Um, but there is sometimes a, a difficult distinction. I think we sort of roll soulmate into a lot of different things so I'll be looking around maybe um, like a forever partner um, someone your your person uh, maybe I'll ask around as well um, but just wanted to sort of explain that because it is a little confusing sometimes and I do um, talk about that in readings a little bit um, okay so just going to come to Kim Louise uh, we've got a friend who is depressed feel free I've just got my eyes closed but feel free to reshare your comment and I'll definitely have a look at that uh, Kim bright future past into now funny that it's coming up past into now but it is um, so bright future um, that's nothing to worry about stop worrying everything's going to work out fine everything always works out for uh, the best for uh, our greatest good so Kim I'm just going to come into your energy just for a moment while the cards are jumping out um, whoops another one didn't quite make it uh, and just see what I need to know about yourself and your friend Kim, I do feel a little bit of distance because what I'm feeling with you, a bit of an empath, um, so I'm actually feeling her energy in my solar plexus. So I feel like it's really important. Um, and one of the practices you might see me use is a chronic energy technique, chop, 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 throw the cord away. So throw the connection away, chop, 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 throw the connection away. So I sometimes just say that in my head, but I'm throwing that to the sun or the moon to be, uh, you know, dissolved, essentially that cord. Um, so it's really important that we do that. So I feel like your friend has a bit of a connection and, and not that she's doing anything wrong or he's doing anything wrong, but it's connecting into that solar plexus with you. And I just want to be very careful about that because it can drain us and it can also bring our energy down or affect our moods. Yeah. So really important, Kim. Um, I feel, you know, doing some cord cutting, whatever that looks like for you. Uh, you could use smudge, things like that. Um, but I feel like 
like when you see this friend, it will be very good for you to protect yourself and put up your bubble. Really, really important. Um, you can still be there for people who are going through a lot of heavy stuff, but you do need to protect your energy. I also feel affected in my headspace. So I feel like I've got a lot going on up here, um, connecting to friend. So really protect your energy, bubbling, you know, shielding, uh, whatever that looks like for you. Um, and I do teach that in mentorship. So if anyone feels to do mentorship, if you're listening to this, I do help people discover and develop their gifts. So if you feel to do that, um, then the details are on my page. Um, and you can also private message me after the show and I can answer any questions you may have uh, about pre cleansing, protecting all of the above. Infinite supply is in the present. That means no fear of lack. Everything is being provided for. Um, that's in the present and in the future it's focused intention so that's about you that's diana so that is a real power card that's you focusing on what you need to focus on not what um, other people are or aren't doing so really focusing on what you need to uh and she's got the bow and arrow there yeah so she's looking at what she needs to um focus her attention on and she's going to fire and hit it and bring it in Okay, so, and lots of this, unconditional love. So no judgment, um, that is for your friend. Uh, your friend's not doing anything. It's just we need to protect ourselves when we're supporting people who are going through some stuff. So lots of unconditional love, no judgment. Uh, perfect, Kim. Um, so that hopefully helps you a little bit with your dilemma. Uh, Kimmy, just going to come to you, my friends. So I'm just going to draw a card for Kimmy. Uh, then I'm moving on to Teague's JD, who was after a little bit of uh, guidance there. Uh, Robin, Gretchen, Mickey Dungey, uh, then Linnell, some mediumship, Linnell, Janelle and Stacey, we've got some uh, rhyming names, then Melissa, Zoe, Suzanne and Sarah. That's all I've got at the moment. Um, so I definitely have uh, Janine Brody, Janine Brody, definitely have room to do more connections tonight. So I'm leaving a little bit of space because sometimes I run out of time and I don't like to miss people. Uh, miscarried years ago, please, been feeling around a lot lately. Uh, Janine, yes, I'm coming to you. Um, so that is no problem. Um, I will definitely connect to your little boy. Uh, I may even use the, um, children's cards. I'll see Janine. I'll see how I feel at the time. But Janine Brody, you are on my list. Hello, Anne-Marie. Oh, thank you for watching. Anne-Marie's the first timer. Anne-Marie Varsi. Uh, let me just pop you on my little list here. Like connecting to first timers. Um, now, Emery Vasi, you're on my list. Let me know if there's anything um, specific. Otherwise, I will just put you down for a reading. Uh, just guidance, general guidance. Um, so just coming to Kimmy now. I'm going to do a card for Kimmy for my fairies, using my fairies, Doreen Virtue. Uh, and then if anyone else has anything that they're after, please let me know. Just going to close my eyes again uh, and just see what's uh, appearing before me. Give me just going to come to your energy, uh, my friend, and just see what we need to know there. Uh, Kimmy, admit your true feelings to yourself is number one. So hopefully that makes sense. Admit your true feelings to yourself. That is uh, being completely honest. Sometimes we even try to pull the wool out of our own eyes, don't we? Um, so that is being really super honest with yourself. How are you feeling about the situation? Uh, what do we need to do? Uh, being super honest. Um, because let's face it, no one else is going to know if we don't know, if we don't connect um, to what we uh, are really feeling inside, you know, how can we communicate that? And life gets very, very confusing. Um, so let me just connect to that one. Uh, I'll just do the one card there. I just want to see what this is for Kimmy. And then I'm moving on to Teague's JD, who's after a little bit of guidance as well. Um, so Kimmy, yep. Uh, Kimmy Flower Power is coming up. Uh, that is usually around bark flower, things like that for me, calming your energy, stress levels. So it could be even like a rescue remedy, something like that, um, just to calm those stress levels. I feel like I'm getting a little bit um, a little bit stressed out. Um, and yeah, I feel like that would be really good. So bark flower, flower power. Uh, flower power also makes me feel like getting out into the garden, doing some grounding, surrounding myself with flowers, you know, herbs, things like that, because it brings us back to the present. And, you know, we can't stress so much if we're just here in the moment, you know, looking out for signs, messages, that sort of thing. So being in the present, I feel like that's where I need to be, back here in alignment. Just come out of whack a little bit. Um, you'll know what the feeling is. It's not fun, not fun. Um, but that is being completely open and honest with yourself so you can communicate that to others, what you need, uh, desires, all of those sorts of things. Um, Kimmy, I hope that helps. Tiggs, JD, just going to come to you for guidance. Um, so... 
Uh, I wasn't entirely sure about your question. Um, so if you have any more info, that would be amazing. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to try. Oh, Nathan, hello. I only just saw your name pop up. Nathan is on here watching on my page. Uh, Nathan, I'll do my best to do a card for you. So Nathan's on here watching. Um, perfect. Um, now, hello, everyone who is on here. Michelle Kelly. Michelle, first timer. Yay. Uh, let me know where you're from, too. Some people are overseas. I love that. It's so cool. Uh, first timer. Michelle, I've got you on my list. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you're after. Um, and I'm just going to come to Teague JD at the moment, who's after a little bit of guidance. Um, and if you want to book a one on one, so I do uh, angel card, oracle readings, um, mediumship connecting to your loved ones, past over loved ones. Um, I also do mentorship and a bunch of other things, and I'm a healer. So I do a reading healing combo, which uh, is really popular. And you can click on the link in this post and book now and check my availability, and I would love to connect with you during the week. Um, Teague's Jady, just after a bit of guidance, let me just come there for you. Teague's, your crown space is feeling quite switched on for me, my friend, which is good. That means a uh, good connection to higher self, um, you know, meditation, uh, things like that. So crown space is feeling quite switched on with you and your energy. Let me just draw some cards. These are the fairies again, so Dorian Virtue. Let me just draw some cards and get a little bit of insight. Um, throat space is feeling like I need to say something, um, get something off my uh, chest, but throat. Um, Kimmy, I do feel like your teagues are other. I do feel like you're holding on to um, something in your throat space. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Kimmy, good confirmation. <laughs> That's good confirmation, isn't it? That was for Kimmy. That was actually face up in the deck. So I just want to put that to one side because that was uh, for Kimmy, not so much Teagues. Although it could be for Teagues. Let's see. Um, all right. So just going to do another card out of the fairies. Good. All right. So let's have a look at these. Oh, my gosh, Teagues. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so Teagues, you were asking about a son, and I wasn't sure if the son was already here or if you're pregnant or not, but there we are, pregnancy. Um, so that's passed into present. So that would indicate um, probably already. Uh, pregnant um, so pregnancy um, is passed into present uh, in the present we have do some research so that is usually doing uh, getting a bit more information before I act so a little bit more information you can see the books there so that's usually around a bit of a Google search or maybe you go to the library who knows you might be old school um, but that's doing a bit more uh, getting a bit more information about the situation before I make a decision uh, that's in the present future is the business venture so that's fun uh, that's you usually starting something uh, doing this on your own uh, being your own boss uh, working from home will be amazing um, but not always so business venture moving forward so let me just see what the overall message is I know you're interested in uh, something about a son so pregnancy let me see what that one is that's passed into now what do we need to know Um, Teagues, what I want to say is you've got a good head on your shoulders. I feel like I just want, uh, you know, a clear channel, clear channel. So I can feel the prickle, prickle sort of around my crown. So I do feel like there's energy wanting to come through. But I feel like just channeling white light just to clear out those channels, if that makes sense. So just uh, make sure those channels, and when I say channels, you know, your chakras, major chakras, making sure they're flowing nice and well. So visualization, uh, white light coming down through crown space and just clearing out your body. Um, and I feel like that's what we need to do at the moment. So getting that uh, good head on your shoulders but getting a bit of clarity. Uh, pregnancy is one I've got my hand at the moment. So if that's already happened, congratulations. Um, Teeks. All right. So Robin uh, Bretchen Business um, was asking about fatigue as well. So a couple of different things, Robin. I might do a card from Life Purpose and see if we need to do health as well uh, with the fatigue or if they just want to give it to me while I'm uh, shuffling those cards. That would be amazing. That will be amazing. Um, yes, and Marie. And Marie's very excited. Uh, very excited. Oh, good. Hello, Catherine. Catherine's one of my mentorship clients. I mentioned before I do uh, mentorship. Uh, family needs help. Donna, I can see you. I have got you on my list, Donna. Um, so I'm going to pop you down, Bornstein. Now, um, you are on my list and you're in Queensland. Hooray. So am I and family, around family. So let's ask around that. And Donna, um, so I'll come to you. You're on my list. Robin Bretchen, uh, we're asking around business, heading in the right direction. Robin, I'll see if they'll give me fatigue as well while I'm just connecting to you. Uh, but these are life purpose cards. I'll be asking more around life purpose. So just going to connect to your energy, Robin. Um, all right, business heading in the right direction. Uh, trust is number one. That's the first one to land face up. You can see the cards flying all over the place. Trust is number one. So believe uh, in yourself, belief in your business. 
uh, and that is in terms of the direction you're heading, um, which is fabulous. So a bit of trust that is coming into the feelings, feelings around it, not so much the logic intellect uh, up in the head. Uh, so coming more into the feelings is trust, Robin. Uh, let's see what else pops out. I'm just going to connect your energy and ask around the fatigue. Um, Robin, what comes up, and I'm just asking around fatigue, it's like a reference to like a clock, around the clock, around the clock. So it's almost like the, the hands, you know, moving around the clock. And what that sort of makes me, the best way I can interpret that is it makes me feel like I'm kind of, I don't know, working around the clock and maybe not having enough downtime. So I just want you to have a think about, you know, bedtime and whether I'm having some wind down, you know, wind down time. So away from screens, away from devices, you know, reading a book or whatever that looks like for you, listening to some music, guided meditation some people do that before bed but i feel like wind down time would be really good because it feels like around the clock around the clock around the clock so always um active uh thinking um which makes it really really hard to sleep properly to get enough sleep also have a think about your phone if you can put it on uh, airplane mode if you're not already um because that keeps your brain waves quite active as well um and i feel like not waking up restored yeah so have a think about that and what your habits are like at the moment um so just going to connect in here and draw some cards for you first one is trust these are around life purpose so just going to draw a couple more for you then we're going to get into mediumship in a sec so i'll actually be connecting to your loved ones and i'll do that in a group so do that as a whole and then i will do some more uh general cards after that Wow, these are good. Wow, these are good. Uh, trust is number one. Children's in the present. So that is involving children in my life purpose, whatever I'm doing. Um, that is guiding, you know, healing, helping uh, children, little ones. So that can be teaching, uh, working in childcare, um, you know, working as a social worker, uh, working in a hospital in a children's ward, uh, lots of different things. But working in ch with children um, is part of your life purpose. Uh, creative expression is getting the energy flowing. So it's expressing yourself through, you know, artwork, uh, music can be creative as well. Whatever gets the energy flowing down the left side of your body. Um, but that is part of your soul purpose um, and also your life purpose. So the more you express yourself in that way, it gets that beautiful creative energy flowing. Uh, bottom of the deck is heart's desires. And that means that you have the right to do whatever is in your heart's desires. So if your little business is uh, part of your heart's desires, fantastic. Um, and that is fully supported, fully supported. So business heading in the right direction. Let me just uh, get an overall message for you, Rob. And then I'm moving on to Nikki. Then we're going to do some mediumship. All right. So let's just see around trust children, that sort of thing. What do we need to know? Uh, Robin, what I want to say is just stay focused on the end result. So whatever you're trying to work towards, because I don't want to count my chickens until they're hatched. I feel like I have a habit of getting ahead of myself, if that makes sense. So for you getting a bit ahead of yourself, you know, oh, what's it going to look like? What's that going to look like? How's that going to look in the future? I just feel like I want to focus on the present um, and, you know, certainly having goals, but I feel like I want to be more in the present. So focusing here. Don't count your chickens until you're hatched means just be present. Uh, work through what you need to work through. Um, and then I feel like we're heading in the right direction. But getting ahead of yourself isn't isn't going to help or isn't helpful. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, so I'm going to come to Nick Dun uh, Nikki Dungy, um, who is just after a card. Nikki, let me know if there is anything specific um, that you are after. Anne-Marie Varsi, mum or brother? Mum or brother? Yes, I can do that. Anne-Marie, I'm going to pop you into the mediumship section in that case, mum or brother. So I'm coming to mediumship now. Anne-Marie Varsi, I'm just popping you into the mediumship section so by mum or brother, um, we'll see, maybe both. That would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see, let's see who comes through. So you're in the mediumship section, which we're going to next. Nikki Donji, just going to come to you for a sec, who's after a card. Nikki, I'm just going to do the uh, angel therapy. These are Dorian Virtue, angel therapy. Um, so just going to connect to that. Kari, thank you for the um, beautiful stars. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, Nicole, yay. Love all the first timers. Uh, Kelly Turner, I am interested in your romance inquiry. Kelly Turner, you are on my list. I'm just coming to some mediumship and then I'll come back to the cards. Um, so romance, love that. Kelly, thank you for watching. Romance, fabulous. Um, oh, thank you, Robin. That's great feedback. Um, Sarah Purvis, I've got you down for soulmate, uh, Sarah Purvis, twin flame. Good job. Yes. Hooray. 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 
All right, so let's ask around that for Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, for the bit more info. Nikki Dungy, just going to do a card for Nikki. This is uh, out of my uh, Angel Therapy, uh, Doreen Virtue. If you wanted to book one-on-ones, um, there is a link in this post. Uh, I do angel cards, mediumship, connecting to loved ones. Uh, also, I'm a healer, so I do reading and healing combos, which are really popular. So if you click on the link in this post and uh, book now, then you can uh, check my availability and book away, or I stay online and answer all your questions after the show as well. Uh, Nikki Dungy, just going to draw a card for Nikki um, and see what we need to know. Hello, Tazzy Wilkie. Uh, Nikki Dungy, Nikki Dungy, what do we need to know? No worries, Teagues. Hopefully that makes sense, lovely. Uh, Nikki Dungy, all right, so what do we need to know about Nikki? Uh, Nikki, I'm feeling a bit, um, uh, a bit frazzled. I'm feeling a little bit in my solar plexus, which um, is hmm, just doesn't feel like it's moving as well as it could. I don't feel super anxious, but it just doesn't feel like it's moving as well as it could. I feel like I want to do something uh, with that. So, um, you know, maybe more liquid, more fluid, hydrate, uh, get that energy moving through that solar plexus. So I feel that that's really important, um, especially in solar plexus for you, because that's your gut, stomach, digestive system. It's a pretty important part of the body. Uh, but in energetic terms, it's your power center. So really important. So Nikki, have a think about that. Um, just going to do a couple of cards from here and see what comes out for you. Then I'm going to do a little bit of uh, medium ship. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, Nikki Dungy. So three cards. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nikki. This is uh, pretty self-explanatory. We won't be doing a lot of um, thinking about this one. God box is put your stresses, worries, concerns into your little uh, box, shoe box with a lid, something like that. Pop them in there, shut the lid and uh, put it away put it away um so the point of that is to get those and that's only in solar plexus that's where i'm sitting with you so that's really good confirmation so the stresses and worries the things you've got in your mind put them in the box put the lid on it put it away in a cupboard away uh and then when there's more add it add to that now these two pretty self-explanatory aren't they so they're both michael um, and they are both cutting cords. So with you, Nikki, we need to cut a lot of cords that is cutting us, attaching us to the past, things that have come before. Uh, we are now cutting, clearing, and deleting that. Bottom of the deck is the clarifier, and that is our parents. So if it's anything to do with parents, making sure we're doing that, uh, disconnecting any unhealthy energy, anything that we're still holding onto, maybe from childhood with that. Um, so making sure you're doing that to move forward, to free yourself. I feel like I need to free myself, Nikki. Um, hopefully that makes sense for you. Now, mediumship, I'm just going to come to some people with mediumship. Now, Linnell was the first to ask mediumship tonight. And we are connecting to Olivia. Uh, Cecilian Rodriguez, um, apologies for my pronunciation, um, but Linnell, I'm coming to you first. So I'm just going to call your loved ones in. Um, now I do a little prayer before I start uh, and they, I call uh, a lot of the loved ones in at that point. So that's when they sort of realize that they are coming in um, at that point. So it's a pretty interesting process for me, I've got to be honest. Um, and then your loved ones just kind of hang out and uh, wait for the right moment to pop in. Um, so Linnell, uh, I'm just coming to mother. Um, so Olivia over here. Um, so just going to ask her into my space. Now, um, hello to everyone who is uh, just logging on. I'm doing a little bit of mediumship at the moment. Um, Athena, what a beautiful name. Sorry, Athena, I'm just going to write your name down. Athena, first timer, yay. Um, Athena, just going to do some mediumship, but I'm going to come to as many people as I can for cards after this. So, um, Athena, you have a delightful name. Love that. Uh, now, I do have a link in this post. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, um, then that's perfect. Readings, healings, whatever you like. Uh, I do some mentorship, so guidance around developing, discovering and developing your gifts. Um, and some of the people who are watching tonight are part of my mentorship group. And uh, some of them are actually doing group readings on my page now, which is fabulous. Um, so make sure you like my page, Michelle L. Price, The Lightworker, um, and or jump in my little spiritual group. I've got a little private group attached to that page. Oh, you can hear the lightning. Cool, hey? Uh, Linnell uh, uh, Amos, just going to come to Mum Olivia. So just going to come across here um, for a second and just see what I... Oh, goosebumps straight away down my left. Perfect. So I'm um, just going to get some information here. Lino, what she's showing me is a little bracelet and it looks like uh, like a baby bracelet, but it's like um, 
amber. So usually that's what, um, you know, babies chew on, uh, maybe for teething or something like that. Um, but it's a little bracelet. I feel like I'm looking at a little girl. So um, there's something around the little girl and it's a little um, like amber bracelet, but that's how she's getting me there. Um, but it feels like little girl and I feel like I've got my hair like up here, you know, poking up here, um, tied up. Uh, very, very strong, uh, brown, you know, deep brown eyes, uh, brown sort of curly hair. Uh, the little girl was very, very prominent. Um, now, sometimes, hopefully this is for you, because sometimes the energies all come through at once and I'm like, whoa, who's who's who? Uh, but definitely felt mum. And then there was a reference to the little bracelet. I know someone else was trying to connect to like a child, uh, but I think that was a boy. So hopefully that is for you. If that makes sense, great. Let me know. Um, but there's reference to the uh, the child. Uh, curly brown hair, brown eyes, brown eyes. Um, so just going to see what mum has to say. Um, Olivia, I believe this, this makes sense. What she's talking about, sorry, um, uh, getting names mixed up, Linnell. Um, hopefully this makes sense. What she's talking about is trying to tie someone down, tie someone down. And what that means is someone who's zipping around everywhere, very energetic, and it's like hard to tie them down. So whoever, if that's you, or if that comes to someone in the family, tie them down is the reference. So someone who's energetic, running around, hard to tie down is what I want to say. Uh, now, there's also Linnell reference to the bank, um, so money, finances, that sort of thing. Um, so usually assistance with that or a little windfall coming. Um, let me just draw some cards and see if the finance card's there. Um, but there's reference to the bank, um, so usually around finances, money or memory, thought, going to uh, that sort of thing. So I'll just draw some cards and see if we can sort of do some clarification there. Uh, Linnell, there's also reference to a tablecloth and I feel like um, that's, you know, my favorite tablecloth. So like I went out, uh, when people come over, you know, for a dinner party or something like that, I had a favorite tablecloth. There's reference to a tablecloth. Um, it does seem quite uh, vague, but I would have had a, um, you know, a tablecloth, I guess I'll bring up for special occasions and things like that. We are coming up to Christmas. Um, so it could be a reference to that, you know, the family gathering around, but there's reference to the tablecloth. You have to have the tablecloth. Um, all right. So gracefully aging, passed into now, goosebumps, gracefully aging. Um, that is thinking about what you're doing, how you're treating your body as you get a little bit older, passed into now. So you having a think about that, um, which is confirmation. Religion and spirituality in the present. So getting a little bit more accustomed with religion and spirituality and how they work together. Uh, maybe getting a bit more understanding of the spiritual you know, side of things and how um, that works, life after death. Body changes is very interesting because that ties in with gracefully aging. So as we get older, you know, a lot of different things happen to us. We change shape, metabolism slows down. We're very aware of that. And parental care, we usually indicate taking care of um, one of your parents, whether that was for mother, um, then that would be an indication of that. So then I'll hopefully that makes sense. Um, that little girl is very, very clear for me. Very clear. Oh, here we go. Good confirmation. Thank you, mum. Finances was just done on the bottom of the deck there. Yeah, finances, hooray, good confirmation. So there was definitely reference to finances, Linnell, so expect um, something. She's showing me the bank and then finances. So whether it's just your thoughts are there or she's trying to help, you know, bring more of that through, more financial uh, freedom, security, um, that would be awesome. Uh, thank you, Olivia. Janelle, just gonna come to you, Janelle McSweeney um, and Nana. So just gonna come to Janelle, ooh, lots of goosebumps, lots of goosebumps. Um, Janelle McSweeney, uh, Nana, just gonna invite, yes. Good. All right. So Janelle, just going to bring a couple of messages through for you. Oh, she's got a great heart space, really good heart space. Um, I do feel a bit uh, choked up, I want to say, in my throat space, Janelle. Um, throat space is quite choked up. That's emotion, like a lot of emotion sitting up here. So whether she didn't have the chance to kind of say everything, um, you know, before she passed, uh, but there's a lot of emotion here. So I feel like things left unsaid. Uh, also, heart space um, is big. Yeah, lots of love, lots of love, um, but also feels a bit worn out. Uh, and that would usually be, you know, before they pass, you know, the feelings, the physical feelings that I feel um, a little bit worn out here in um, chest space, heart space. Uh, but definitely throat. It feels like there's a few things left unsaid. Let's see if we can get a few of those things said in this uh, little forum here. None. Yep. You know, there's reference to, um, it feels like stuff around the house and it's like, um, I don't know if this is like with the children or something, but I feel like it's like, can, can you take the bins out? Can you like put the washing out? Like it feels like giving directives and I feel like, um, you know, continuing to do that or I'm, I'm listening to that. Uh, but it's like, can you take the bin out? Can you put the washing out? 
Um, and I feel like giving directives, but this is you, this will be around the house and this is their way of showing us, you know, we're around, we're listening. Um, so quite specific about that. She's also talking about breaking something. So something broken. Um, so something broken. I don't know that I'm coming here. Could be talking about here with her, something broken. Um, but it feels like something broken. So I'm not sure if it's there or here. Let me see if I can do it right there. Yeah, she's not showing me anything physically with her. I was just seeing physically if that's what we're doing. Um, so broken or broken into. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, oh, that one's just popped out. So that one again, finances. A lot of the loved ones do bring that card out with me. So that's helping with uh, a little windfall, a little bit more cash. Um, but there's reference to broken. So either a uh, broken limb or broken into. Um, so something broken. So hopefully that makes sense for you and you can uh, tie that in with something. I wasn't feeling anything physical, although this is pretty fast, you know, connecting in this way. So I don't always feel a lot physical unless it's uh, very obvious. Um, and let me just see if there's a third. No, no, yeah. Okay, so Janelle, oh, that's fun. Uh, Self-employment in the present. So that's working for myself doing something for myself, not working for the big, uh, the big man, the corporation, uh, and getting some rest, a little bit more of that that's moving forward. So resting, recovering, receiving, receiving is important as part of that. It's giving back to yourself. Um, so finances leading into self-employment, but we do need to have a little bit of that and coming up, hopefully everyone is over Christmas, a bit of downtime, and then we can move forward. Um, okay, so, uh, okay, we've got some trolls, hooray. Um, all right, so just going to, now if you are a troll and you are uh, watching and uh, connecting to my clients uh, who are watching tonight, um, then I will block you and report you. So um, I am blocking and reporting. So um, you won't be able to connect any more, hopefully. Um, yes. All right. So uh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. All right. So if you are um, a troll, then you will be blocked and reported. You have been warned. Uh, Stacey Priest Cawthorn, just coming to your sister. Um, so Stacey Priest Hawthorne, just coming to your sister um, over here. Um, now, if you are just watching, we are um, doing mediumship at the moment. So uh, I'm just connecting to some spirit uh, family members and uh, then I'll come back. Hello, Beverly. Ah, okay. Um, Beverly, I'm not sure what that means. Um, but I will, uh, I will find out. Uh, maybe private message me, uh, Beverly. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Hello, Kim. Hello. Um, all right. So Stacy Priest Cawthorn, um, sister. Just going to come to uh, Stacy's sister. Then I'm connecting to Janine. Then Anne Marie. We're doing a bit of mediumship there. Then I'm going to do some uh, beautiful card readings. I've got some kids cards here too. So I've got children watching. Please let me know. Uh, please let me know three of them my god Michelle um, you guys can actually um, get rid of them as well and report them um, so because it does take a little bit of time for me to do that uh, so if you feel to do that you can report um, but I can only do so much because it is a little bit of a little bit time consuming at my end as well. So hiding, banning, etc. etc. Alright, so hopefully that's that done. Alright. Uh good -o. Let's jump back into connecting to Stacy Priest's sister. How beautiful is that rain? Oh my god, it's so good, so good. Hopefully you can hear me properly. Uh Stacy Priest is gonna come over here for sister. Yeah. I might get a bit of lavender. Okay, just over here. Um, Stacey Goosebumps, um, your sister's coming through and she does feel quite 
kind of sad, a bit down for me, um, a little bit down. So just going to connect and um, see what's going on there. But she's coming through as being a little bit down. I just want to figure out why. Um, there appears to be, and I'm not sure why yet, but it appears to be um, uh, some regret or something like that. Um, I just feel a little bit, um, a little bit down, a little bit uh, down. Yeah, that's what I can give you. Yep. Uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, though, I want to say. Um, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's almost like what she's showing me. It's like a hologram, and I feel like she's trying to appear to you. So it's almost like a hologram back in the day. You remember those things? Um, and it's like a, a greeny, goldy sort of tinge, and I feel like she's trying to appear to you. So when you're going to sleep, when you're just waking up, that's the best time to communicate with spirit. And what I feel to say is to just look for her. Uh, and it's greeny gold, her energy, greeny gold, which is beautiful. Um, she's trying to communicate, trying to connect directly, okay? Um, and it will look a bit like a hologram for some reason. That's the way she's showing me um, here. Yeah. Um, now, hopefully you understand this. There's reference to an uncle or something, an uncle. Um, so there's, I guess, acknowledgement, um, but there's reference specifically to an uncle. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you. You know the background and, and I don't. Um, so just want to reference that. Just going to draw some cards for you, my love. Um, but I do feel like I could be happier, but that's sometimes, you know, they've got to work through different um, healing um, at their end as well. Um, to be able to raise those vibrations uh, nice and high. So I feel like we're just doing a little bit of work like that. Um, and there is assistance on this side too for them, um, if need be, to help them get through that. Uh, my readings are quite healing as well, so it's a good way to um, express themselves, um, which is beautiful. So uh, let me have a look at this. This is for Stacey Priest. Um, Self-care is passed into now, Stacey. That's looking after yourself, um, and that is passed into now, usually acknowledgement that you're doing that. So looking after yourself or requirement uh, to do that. Movings in the present, that can be uh, moving house, you know, someone moving in, someone moving out, that sort of thing. So a change that's in the present uh, is moving. And forgiveness moving forward. Generally, that is forgiveness for self, um, but it can be forgiveness for others as well. Family changes is someone leaving, someone coming, that sort of thing as well. So it can be uh, the passing of our loved ones. Um, so family changes, someone leaving, someone coming, uh, that sort of thing. Let me just see what the overall message is here for Stacey. And then I'm going to come to Janine and then Anne-Marie. So let me just get an overall. Yep. And I feel like um, big hugs for you, big hugs for you. So it feels like some of this sadness is maybe coming from, from yourself as well and how you're feeling at the moment. But I feel like big hugs for you, big hugs for you. So I feel like some reassurance and I feel goosebumps. And I feel like I'm trying to appear to you to offer that reassurance. So sleep, wake, um, last thing before you go to bed. Maybe just, you know, ask her, you know, pray, say her name, whatever it is. And then allow her to come in and just you know, see what you notice. Just see what you notice. She's trying to appear. Uh, but it will feel like a bit of a hologram and it is appearing as uh, green gold um, for me. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. Or the, the uncle reference as well. Uh, Janine Brody um, lost a little boy. So Janine, uh, I might even go to kids cards here. I feel like that might be appropriate for you. Uh, and then I'm coming to some more um, mediumship with Anne-Marie. Um, somehow they all flipped over. I don't know how that happened. Um, so hello. Thank you for watching everyone who is uh, still on here on this Monday evening. You can hear all the rain and the lightning and thunder behind me. I'm in Queensland. Um, so it is beautiful here. Um, Jessica, I'd love to hear from my son or cousin, please, all the way from New Zealand first time. So are they in uh, spirit, Jessica? Um, let me know. Oh, mediumship, great. Um, I've got five already or six written down, so I might just um, leave it at that tonight, Jessica. But if you feel to connect next week uh, or one-on-one, -on -one, my link is in this post, um, then I'm more than happy to do that. Or next week, I start from 6.15 Queensland time, which is uh, 9.15 your time. Um, so if you jump on nice and early, then I can uh, definitely come to you. Uh, Janine Brody, who lost a little boy. Janine, just going to come over here. I've got my beautiful uh, children's wellbeing cards. Now, that's number one, my darling. Um, I am happy. So beautiful. That's connecting into the little sacral um, chakra in the body, the womb space, creative space, celebrating my life. So I am happy is the key message there. Um, this is with your little boy um, that you lost now. I'm just going to grab a couple more cards out of this deck and I'm just going to connect over here as well. Beautiful little gentle energy. Ooh, lots of goosebumps. My hair's going up. Hair's going up. When I say my hair's going up, it means that uh, the energy always comes from source, which is just pure love. 
Um, and it's a really nice feeling on your skin or your hair goes up. Um, so that's what I mean when I say goosebumps and my hair is going up. Um, now that is very universal. That's very uh, wise, very wise uh, integrated. That's crown space. So a connection up here. Uh, which you know can happen when they don't uh, entirely come through. But the good thing is, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, so very good message. Yeah. Now, what I want to say, this is around the um, swimming, like around the pool, Janine, um, and it feels like whether you've got other children in the water or something like that, there's a reference to the water, you know, swimming, that sort of thing. So um, often, you know, little ones who don't make it, you know, here um, as a living soul, um, they're around us and they're watching what we're doing. So there's a reference to the swimming um, and it feels like, I don't know, pool or ocean, but it's swimming, a reference to that. So it will be an indication that they're watching um, that happen. Yeah. Um, there's a reference, it's saying that we're saying time difference, time difference. Um, over here, I think this may be the reference over here. There's no indication of time. So there's no, there's no idea, uh, or no way for them to tell, you know, how much time's passed really, cause they're not wearing watches. So the time here is different to what you're experiencing. So there's no, kind of no indication of time over here, but for you, there is, you know, how much time's passing and stuff like that. So there's an indication of that, uh, for me as well. Um, time difference. Time difference can also relate to being in different states, I guess, as well. Um, so being separated from family, things like that. Um, but time difference is the reference. Okay, just getting a third card out of my children's well-being cards. What's that third card? This one? Okay, good. All right, so um, we've got lots of sacral chakra, creative energy. I'm happy, <clears throat> I'm integrated, that's universal, so that's crown space. And that's another one, which is uh, sacral womb space um, and moving. So um, that is, again, that creative space. Let me just see what the overall message is for Janine. Um, and then we're going to move on to Anne-Marie Varsi, who wanted to connect to mum or brother. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, that's a big one that I am integrated in the middle. Big, yep. Um, there's a feeling here. I just want to show you that again. See how that's circular? It actually feels like coming around again, coming around again. So it's circular. So this little soul, um, whether he's coming back into your life or someone else's, but it's coming back around again. So definitely going back into the system, if you like. Um, but that's why we've chosen that central card there to show you that circle. Yeah, so coming around again. Um, so going to have another opportunity to come through, which is good. Uh, sometimes they do. Sometimes they have other things in mind. Um, so Janine, I hope that makes uh, sense for you. Um, and me message me if um, if you're not sure. Emery Varsi, just going to connect to mum and uh, brother over here. Then I'm going to come to some more cards. And I've got Zoe coming up with the kids' cards. I've got Melissa J's after some guidance. So I've got a few more people to connect to. Emery Varsi, we're just going to connect to mum or brother. I'll just see which side uh, indicates for me as to whether we're going to mum or brother or both. Let's see who's coming through for Emery Varsi. Emery, this is more brother for me. Um, definitely coming through on my right. Um, some more brother. Um, whoops, just lost a card. Um, so just going to see what we need to talk about there. Um, Emery, I just feel to say, are you keeping up to date with the news for some reason? Um, because I feel like I'm looking at like news reports or something like that. Um, are you keeping up with the news? Um, I actually used to be a journo. That was my job, not anyone else's, my job. Um, and I don't watch the news so much anymore now that I'm doing this full time. I find that it's um, a distraction um, and it can bring me down. Um, so the reference over here is, um, are you watching news? Are you caught up on the news? So take that how you will. Um, but that's the first reference. There's also reference here to a rain dance. Um, now we've got rain going on here and I know you're not here where I am, uh, but there's reference to like a rain dance, wanting it to rain, wanting it to rain. Um, so whether it's been dry for a while or something like that, we've had an almighty storm this afternoon, um, which has been really wonderful. Um, there's also reference to 
just feels like a bird or something. I don't know if that's apparent. There's reference to a bird and it feels like spreading its wings. Um, could also be symbolic um, for your brother, you know, being set free or something like that. But spreading wings is what I want to say as well. Um, I also want to say for you, Anne-Marie, take time out for yourself. Um, so there's a very specific reference to you um, taking time out for yourself. I feel like doing a lot for others, spreading myself very thinly. Um, so I feel like taking time out for myself as well um, in honor of yourself, respect, uh, receiving, really important, um, giving back to yourself. So just going to draw some cards out just to clarify what we're talking about here. Um, now, I am coming into just general cards now, guys. So this is the last mediumship connection I'm doing for the evening. Um, so just coming back out to general cards. Uh, if you wanted to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, more than welcome. Um, there is a link in this post. And you can also book a reading healing combo, which is really fun. Um, and the link is in the post for that. So you click on the link, uh, book now, and you can check my availability. Now, volunteer is doing something without expectation of getting anything in return. Uh, it is very good for the soul. That's passed into now. In the present, it is that. Now, it's interesting with the volunteering, it's doing something without expectation of a return, but we're actually getting, and you can see the butterflies are actually quite similar. Um, what we're actually getting is a return. We're getting something out of that without expecting it. Does that make sense? That's really hard to do. That's really hard to let go of that, but there is something beautiful coming your way. Seeking and finding is asking questions, a bit of a seeker. Um, often when I read for people like that, Metatron comes through. You may have heard of Metatron. He's one of the Ascended Masters. But seeking and finding is always asking questions, knowing that there's more out there than what we're told or what we uh, sense or know at a human level. So seeking and finding is your third card. Realizations and epiphanies. Now, I do feel like based on that, Emory, that you're doing a bit of research into, you know, things like spirituality, life after death, a bit of a knowledge of energy work, stuff like that. Things are starting to make sense. Um, and often when we lose people, that's what we do. We do a bit, uh, bit more research get to uh, know what's going on after we pass away. So Emery, hopefully that makes sense for you. Melissa Jays was just after a bit of guidance. So just going to come over here um, to maybe goddess guidance or something like that. Goddess guidance, feel good. Um, I just had the twin flame come out, twin flame card. And I know some people are asking about twin flames tonight. So we'll see if anything comes out with that. Melissa Jays, just going to do some guidance for Melissa Jays. What do we need to know about Melissa? And I do have my Whispers of Healing cards here too, which are really beautiful, very feminine. So I may even use those for the Twin Flames. I haven't used them for that before, but um, I do generally have my relationship cards that I use for that. Um, that's interesting. I just noticed my Life Purpose card, the Healer cards here. I don't know where that came from or how that got there, but the Healer cards sitting out on the table. Um, so that could relate to the last person I was speaking to. I only just noticed that. Um, all right, so Melissa J's bit of guidance. Uh, we've got leap of faith. So taking a risk, leap of faith. Um, you've got to do that. If you don't take a risk, you never know. You never find out. Past into now. Leap of faith. Sensitivity is being aware that um, we are you know, easily triggered by loud noises, loud people, loud environments, chemical substances, all that sort of stuff, unhealthy food. So sensitivity, being aware that you are sensitive to that at the moment. Past life, it'd be interesting for us to meet up one-on-one -on -one, because I do do past life readings. Uh, but there's a connection to past life with regard to what we're talking about. Um, so being aware of that past life connection, that can be relationships, that sort of thing, um, and having a past life connection. That's when someone walks in your room and you're like, oh my God, I know you, I definitely know you. Uh, so Zoe, we've got your 11 year old watching. Zoe, my little mate, Zoe, so 11 year old daughter. Um, sorry for keeping up, I've kept you guys up for a little while. Um, all right, so Zoe, just gonna come into your 11 year old daughter, see what we need to know there. Uh, getting through as many people as I can. Uh, if you are still online, let me know. Oh, wow. Wow. Janine, that's amazing. Oh my God. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you for that feedback. Beautiful. Happy days. I uh, sometimes forget to read the feedback, but I did just see your feedback, Janine. So I really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Um, now, if you wanted to book a one-on-one, -on -one, there is a link in the post. You can click book now uh, and check my availability. I also hang around online. So if you need to ask any questions about what I do or you want to just have a chat, um, then please jump in and private message me on my page. The link is in the post. So we're just going to come to your 11-year-old daughter and then I'm going to do some uh, general cards for some other people before we finish up. Uh, Zoe, 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 11 year old daughter, that one's good. All right. Zoe, you're feeling great at the moment. Your energy is feeling uh, really good. 
Oh, beautiful. All right, so Zoe, number one is I am safe. That's around the root chakra, similar to what I was saying to the little um, child I read for before. Worthy of having my needs met. So the little bit of worthiness that can be around self-love um, that is connecting into the little root chakra there, the bottom one, the first one. Um, so feeling of safety and security that's passed into now. So super important for me to feel that way. It's nice and secure feeling like I'm having my needs met, feeling like sometimes having my voice heard as part of that. Um, so speaking up and being heard. So all of those things really, really important um, for this little girl. Now I am love and I am loved. So very loving little girl there. Um, and that is in the um, heart space. So green, they're all connecting into the different um, chakras in the body. So I'm love and I am loved. That is uh, knowing that I'm source energy. We all come from source energy, which is love. And we go back to it. Uh, and knowing that I am loved. So the, both the people down here and also the people up there in heaven as well, uh, or whatever your belief is. Uh, but love is within me and surrounds me. So very, very loving, big heart space, big heart space for this little girl. And I am a superhero. I love this card. I'm a superhero. If I dream it, I can do it. Yeah. Now you've got a mum who's a chief manifester. Your mum is amazing. Zoe. So um, you need to understand from this that if you can dream it, and that means if you have a good imagination and you can picture, you know, different things you want to bring in. And I know it's coming up to Christmas time, so it might be uh, Christmas presents and things like that, things you want to bring in for yourself. Then if you can visualize it, then it manifests and it ends up right in front of you. So it's good to understand that as a kid, uh, because otherwise we end up figuring it out in our 40s, like me. <laughs> so I'm a superhero. So I hope that makes sense for you and your daughter. Um, Suzanne Fernandez um, is talking about her forever love. I've got a couple of love readings. So I'm just going to do those with my uh, angel cards. I usually use those for relationships. Um, Suzanne Fernandez, forever love. And we've got um, Sarah Purvis asking about soulmate or twin flame. Um, Suzanne Fernandez, I'm just going to come into your energy and just see what we need to know. Love the feedback, guys. So keep it coming. I love reading all of your feedback. Um, it makes me very, very happy. Uh, Nathan, you're still on my list. I've just got a couple of people to get through before I get to you. Susan Fernandez, um, for a person. We're doing a couple of relationship cards at the moment. I'm um, just going to see what I need to know about Susan. Or Suzanne, I should say. Not Susan. Suzanne. Fernandez. What do I need to know about forever love? Um, Suzanne, I feel like to say patience, and I know that's really frustrating when you're waiting for that person, but I feel like patience, um, oh gosh, uh, that one just flipped up. So that is uh, Angel of Healing, a little bit of healing happening for you, my friend, uh, before this person comes through. So let's see if the romance card or something like that comes out. That'd be fun. Um, but yeah, just patience first and foremost. Um, it feels like the universe is trying to make this happen, um, but I just feel to say a little bit of patience, a little bit of patience is required. Uh, okay, well, that's a good one. Uh, travel, probably can't do a lot of that at the moment, but uh, we are able to get out and about a little bit more. So a bit of uh, travel, that can indicate uh, in relation to the romance. So meeting uh, on our travels, that sort of thing. Uh, career angel is looking ahead, so thinking about work. So it does feel like a bit of a focus in that area, not so much romance for me. So we've got healing, uh, travel in the present, and uh, uh, career, so job. Um, that can indicate a change, yeah, something different moving forward. Uh, bottom of the deck is meditation. So that's connecting to higher self, um, looking at, you know, what we can find out from that, you know, channeling, um, using divine guidance. Uh, but I don't feel like the relationships here at the moment because it's not indicating that for me. Um, and I was asking around forever love, but how to think about the travel, um, because we could potentially be meeting that person, uh, on our travels out and about, uh, but then we've got career. Um, so it's not the romance card. So I feel like we're doing a little bit of work at the moment, uh, on self and then, um, give it another go. Uh, Sarah Purvis, just going to connect to soulmate or twin flame, uh, and just see where we need to go there with you. Sarah, I feel like it's good with you. Ooh, that's great. Good confirmation. That one just flew out. Uh, I feel like you're doing the work, love. I feel like you're doing the work, Sarah. Um, so that's really great. Um, doing the work. What else do we need to know? When's this person coming through? Um, you're feeling quite balanced. I feel like that chakra balancing angel is really good confirmation um, that you're starting to hear the messages. Uh, the only thing I want to say is it will be good to come out of headspace. I feel very heavy in headspace. There's a lot of stuff going on up here. Um, so it would be good to come out of that because obviously when it comes to feeling, um, we're talking about, you know, love coming in. 
Um, so I feel like just to come out of that headspace a little bit with you. But other than that, feels good. Maybe a bit of heart healing, a tiny bit of heart healing to do with you as well. Let's draw some cards and just get some clarification on that. Oh, that's a strong one. You may notice I actually hold the cards at heart space too and I often do that because I feel like it puts my love intention into my reads. So hopefully everyone's feeling that at home. Oh, we've got patience again. We have patience for the last person, but the card itself didn't come out. So a bit of patience. That's in the present. That's in the present. But the good thing is I feel like you've uh, been doing the work. Chakra balancing is doing the work. Hooray. Uh, moving forward, it's a bit of that bullying prevention. It's a little bit of healing to be done with you, and then we're heading to that point. So that's the healing around um, any bullying or anything like that that's been going on. That is um, someone taking, uh, you know, a bit of um, putting you down, you know, that sort of thing, standing over you, that sort of thing. So bullying prevention's moving forward. So doing a bit of healing around that um, and work on that. And also um, a bit of that in a piece. And then uh, relationship, hopefully. Uh, underneath that is friendship. We can read from the bottom of the deck as well. So forming friendships and then seeing if that develops into something else. Uh, but Angel of present, uh, Patience in the present, I feel like you're doing the work, Sarah. So I'm super proud of you um, for doing that because it's not easy. You know, it takes a lot of uh, work. Nathan, just going to draw a card from you. I will use my fairies or, yeah, fairies. Yep. All right, so Nathan, just going to draw a card for you. And then Michelle, who was a first timer. And then I'm probably going to get kicked off here uh, and be in a bit of trouble because I'm staying over, over my time. Uh, Nathan, just going to draw a card from my fairies for you. And then uh, Michelle Kelly, just want to come to you as well. Uh, Nathan, everything that you're asking for is coming in autumn. So autumn is next year. Um, so I think from March, is that right? I'm not very good with months, um, but everything's coming through in autumn for you. So whatever you're trying to bring in, manifest, or just do the one so I can get to Michelle as well. Um, it's coming in autumn, okay? So that will be next year. These cards are American, but I do tend to um, convert to our time, um, so our seasons here, depending on where in the world you are. So everything being realized in autumn. Michelle Kelly, first timer. Um, Michelle, I'm just going to come to these beautiful Whispers of Healing cards. Hello, Rachel. Oh, school leader position, Rachel. All right, Michelle, I'm just going to do you first timer. Then I'm just going to come to Rachel, who's on my page very quickly. Um, would like to be a uh, school leader. So let me have a look at the children's uh, wellbeing cards and then I will um, jump off. So Michelle Kelly, first timer, just going to come to your uh, energy and see what I need to know there. Uh, Michelle Kelly, Michelle Kelly. Hun, you've got a good heart space on you, really good heart space. I feel quite uh, open in that area. Um, that's the bottom of the deck, mental repetition. So that means having things going around in my head, around in my head and around in my head. And sometimes that means God box. So having that God box, because that can be like a broken uh, record or broken circuit where it just goes around and around and around and it keeps us up at night and stuff like that. So the God box is a good one for that. Uh, Michelle Kelly, uh, good heart space with you though. Really good heart space. These cards are so beautiful. Um, you will absolutely love them. They're my favorite favorite, favorite, favorite cards. Um, if you check out my page, there's actually a post about these cards, um, which explains how I came across them um, because I didn't know the artist and I never choose cards that I don't know. Uh, Get Clear is there. You can see her journaling there and that is putting down what you want on paper, being absolutely clear about it and then putting it up to heaven or uh, your guides, you know, whoever you uh, address, the creator, whatever it is, uh, but getting clear in your head because if you're not clear about what you want to bring in, it makes it very, very hard for our spirit family to bring it in for us. Now, this one's gorgeous and so colorful and beautiful. These cards are delightful. Unconditional love, um, and that is for yourself. No judgment um, for yourself or others, um, unconditional. So making sure that we're always coming from a place of that, Michelle. Uh, and bottom of the deck is respect. So with you, Overall, what I want to say is, A, we want to stop that little circuit going in our head because it's not always helpful. So the same thoughts, you know, going around and around, put them in a little box, put the lid on, put it away. Uh, getting clear is asking for what you want, basically. So being really clear about what you want to bring in, um, be specific, you know, whether it's business, relationship, whatever it is, be really specific. Unconditional love, so no judgment, no judgment of yourself or others around you. And then respect uh, is, you know, love you know, self-love, um, saying no to others' demands on your time and energy, putting up boundaries, working on that as well. So hopefully um, that makes a bit of sense for you as well. Now, um, what was I doing then? We had a little, um, that was Michelle, uh, and then someone, oh, Rachel, that's right. Uh, Rachel, 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 Rachel. Uh, daughter likes to know, all right, school leader. Let's ask around school leader. Let's ask around that. Kids cards, children wellbeing cards. 
uh, school year. Now we are doing more group readings, joint readings on my page, Michelle Price the Light Worker. Um, so if you feel to do that, oh wow, look at that. That is an action card. I'm feeling really positive about that, Rachel. That's an action card. That's a doing. That's your sacral, um, sorry, solar plexus. You can see where she's holding that little baton up. And I honor the power within me. So what I feel to say, Rachel, with your daughter, if she can just um, be super confident about this and just see it as though it's already happened, I feel like she's got it. I feel like that's really, really positive um, because that is a doing card. That's the yang energy coming from solar plexus. That's our power center. So I feel like, you know, her visualizing, if you want to do this together, her visualizing herself in that role, in that position, sending lots of positive energy to that. Uh, thank you in advance and let it go. Putting the request out there. And making it happen. Uh, thank you everyone who's watched tonight. I really appreciate all of you for tuning in. Um, I didn't get to everybody, um, but if you want to tune on next week, I am on from 6.15 uh, p.m. Queensland time. Um, oh, Potter, Potterlege, Peter. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, Potterlege. I um, am more than happy to connect to you. If you want to connect uh, 6.15 next week, um, I'm more than happy to connect to you. Uh, I am sorry that you feel that way. Um, but I'm more than happy. And I do read for a lot of gents too. Um, so I will be on next week from 6.15 Queensland time, 7.15 in the Southern States. And uh, depending on where you are in the world, different times all over the place. Um, so feel free to connect. My link is in this post and you can click book now and check my availability. And I would love to connect with you. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs>